This is Central Province in the Solomon Islands. We're travelling between Tulagi, the provincial capital, and Big Gela, Gela Sul, to the village of Halata. This project is about mosquitoes. These scientists are here to study malaria. It's a disease of vast global numbers. More than half the world's population is at risk of infection, and the disease is estimated to cause around one death every 30 seconds in one of the 100 countries in which it's found. The Solomons suffer some of the highest infection rates outside of Africa, and just over 14% of the latest population are infected with the parasite. Statistics speak differently when you see the people they pertain to. In Halata tonight, a team of local collectors is out capturing every mosquito that lands on them between 6pm and midnight. This happens for each three-week collection visit the researchers make. The mosquitoes are then brought in for the team to record how many there are, from which genera and what they've eaten. And the blue light from those UV torches? It's used to see if any of the insects are glowing. One experiment in this project is to dust the insects with different colours for different behaviours, releasing them and recording if they're doing the same thing when recaptured and how long it's taking them to come in and seek their next meal. By understanding things like this, the researchers hope to be able to design more effective interventions and control strategies that address the behaviours shared by different species. And so each collection cup is checked for luminous insects. Some are extracted by aspirator and checked again, more closely, for the barest trace of the dust. At the end of each night, some of the live mosquitoes caught will be dusted and released again, and the researchers will wait to see this night's colour come round again in the cups. On this trip, the turnaround time could be as little as two days. When the world first tried to eliminate malaria, more than 40 years ago, it was thought that a single species was responsible for transmission in the Solomons. That effort failed, and scientists now know that this was because there were actually three species of mosquito at work here. Two were eliminated, but one adapted its behaviour to avoid the intervention, going on to survive and proliferate. It's that one, Anopheles ferrati, that this project is catching and dusting to understand its feed and breed cycle. There is something ethereally beautiful about these bright insects as they disappear into the darkness, small sparks against the night. Malaria causes an enormous public health burden by any measure, but its success as a parasite comes down to just 10 millimetres of Anopheles mosquito, a lethal delivery system, capable of upending our best effort interventions. To an unscientific eye, they look delicate and they look just like mosquitoes, but they're robust, different even to species they're closely related to, and evolutionarily nimble. If science can unravel the particular complexity of their biology and behaviour, in the Solomons or in any of the other 99 countries around the world that fight the fight against this disease, perhaps it stands a better chance of finally breaking the deadly cycle of transmission.